Hi, my name is Tony Maritato and I'm a licensed physical therapist here in Middletown, Ohio. In this video, I want to answer the question, why does your shoulder pain get so much worse at night? So I specialize in treating patients after a rotator cuff repair surgery, but I'm fortunate enough to see a lot of these individuals before surgery. And one of the most common complaints I hear in the clinic is my shoulder hurts so much worse at night. So let's talk about that for a minute. There's, there's the typical conditions that patients who are experiencing shoulder pain usually come in with. Maybe it's a bursitis, maybe it's a tendonitis, maybe it's a rotator cuff tear, maybe it's a little bit of all of those things. None of that is uncommon. But one of the things that's not often discussed is the fact that these are chemical problems. And what I mean by that is inflammation is a chemical problem. And when you're dealing with shoulder pain that's associated with inflammation, because there's tissue damage or overuse, that chemistry is going to influence how the shoulder feels. So another common report that patients tell me is they wake up in the morning, the shoulder's pain, painful and stiff. Then as they go through their routine about mid morning, they feel their best. They're, they're almost pain free. And then as the day progresses, the pain starts to come back in. Once again, this is because of the chemical changes that happen throughout the day with different activities. So what does chemical changes mean? Your immune system is largely responsible for controlling tissue healing, tissue recovery. If you have immune system problems, if you have autoimmune conditions or other things that weaken the immune system, typically recovery is gonna take you longer than it might take somebody else. That's why me at age 45, I don't recover as quickly as I did when I was 25. But that being said, if I know that I'm dealing with a chemical problem, one of the best ways to manage and change and benefit the chemistry in the shoulder is with light activity, light exercise. That's why brushing your teeth and combing your hair and getting your breakfast ready helps the shoulder actually feel better. One of the most damaging, harmful things a person can do when their shoulder hurts is not move it, is protect it, is guard it. It used to be standard protocol that if somebody had low back pain, they'd be on bed rest until they realized the low back pain needs movement to improve. Your shoulder needs gentle range of motion and light activity to change the chemistry, to help take the waste products out of the tissue and bring nutrients back into the tissue. So the reason why your shoulder hurts so much more at night than it does like late morning, early day is because as your day progresses, you continue to do things, you continue to work and do the things that you need to do associated with daily living. Those waste products start to build up. And then as you kind of slow down for the evening, maybe you, you sit down for dinner, you watch your favorite TV show, you get in bed, the movement actually starts to get slower and then less until eventually all those chemicals start to set in associated with the inflammation and that tends to trigger that pain response and raises the intensity of the pain. So one of the things that I like to do with my patients in the clinic is I make a recommendation instead of giving them 30, 40, 50 minutes of exercise to do once or twice a day, I show them one or two things that they can do periodically for one to two minutes every couple hours throughout the day. And then I encourage them to take a nice, soothing, hot bath or shower at the end of the day into the evening. I show them two exercises. One is a self-massage technique they can use, and one is gentle range of motion to help improve the chemistry right before bed. And what they have found is that Maybe if the pain would have kicked in and woken them up at two hours, they're getting to four or six hours before those chemical changes take effect and the pain intensity rises enough to wake them. So guys, I just want you to understand, yes, there's mechanical damage inside the tissue. Yes, there, there's positional things and postural things and other stuff that's going on. But one of the biggest factors and probably the least discussed is the chemistry that's going on inside the shoulder associated with the inflammation and the role your immune system plays in managing that chemistry. The best way you can help your immune system manage that chemistry is with gentle range of motion 
a little bit of exercise, better food, better sleep, and less stress in your life. Guys, I hope this information was helpful. I hope some of what I said makes sense. And if you have other questions, please don't hesitate to post your questions in the comments below. I look and read every question and that's what helps me create new videos for you guys. So as always, thank you so much and I'll catch you on the next video.